claim legend status in international motorsport, but Colin McRae must surely be considered among that elite category. He became the first British driver to win the World Rally Championship in 1995, driving for Subaru, and in so doing, helped promote the sport to millions of new fans. He would later go on to drive for Ford and Citroen, before temporarily retiring in 2003. His spectacular driving style, which often included spectacular crashes, was a hallmark of his career. In fact, some would say he would either crash or crash through. Yet, despite his competitive driving and risk-taking on four wheels, it was a helicopter accident that claimed his life and that of his son, another child and a friend. The group was returning from a short trip to a village near McRae's home in Scotland. Police continue to investigate the cause of the crash. Witnesses reported hearing unusual noises coming from the engine beforehand. McRae's death at 39 sent shockwaves that crossed all sporting boundaries. Valentino Rossi among those who considered him an icon of rallying and paid tribute to him after winning Sunday's MotoGP. I want to dedicate this race to Colin McRae that was uh, unfortunately died yesterday with the helicopter and uh, was one uh, is one of uh, my idol when I was uh, very young, so I have to say ciao. McRae was a cult figure in Great Britain. He was also well respected in Australian rallying circles. Even after retirement, he was lured back to Rally Australia in 2005, where he caught up with RPM reporter John Smales. They reflected on some of his more memorable moments, in particular this famous pirouette, which revealed the personable style of this rallying legend. What happened there? Just a bit too quick for the conditions. Was it you personally too quick, or was it a, a note call, or what? No, I think uh, this was okay. They're just too big. <laughs> McRae made another appearance at the elite level last year when he was called up to replace the injured Sebastian Loeb. He was running sixth when electrical problems forced him to retire from what would prove to be his final WRC event. The talented Scott had been working on his own rally car for the past couple of years and held hopes for a full-time return to the WRC in 2008. Regardless of those aspirations, McRae clearly wasn't one to keep still long. He competed in the American X Games, Le Mans 24-hour race and the Dakar Rally. For those who knew him best, it was his competitive streak, raw driving ability and sheer determination that will perhaps be his legacy. What sums up Colin McRae? Somebody that's willing to give it a go. A balls and all go at that. <laughs> if you want to say that. <laughs>